So I want to show these little, um, I guess they're called um, waffle cap caps. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but basically they provide um, little bitty soldering pads um, to solder uh, your wires on your uh, capacitors. Um, and this also does good um, for reusing capacitors so you can if you need longer wires or whatever if you need to reuse a capacitor then you'll be able to unsolder the wire off and solder a longer wire on or however you want to do it but um, I guess as long as the capacitor don't explode uh, in a crash or something it's easier to reuse uh, and plus you don't have to deal with trying to get um, these um, little wires here um, another wire soldered onto these which is not very difficult it's just that um, I like the aspect of making um, this um, uh, easy to remove and add and just um, the overall making it easier to work with so um, you know you have these long wires and of course the um, the side of the capacitor that has the negative um, the little um, negative pads on the side of the capacitor obviously means it's your negative wire uh, and then it makes the other side that's blank your positive so um, I'm pretty sure it don't really matter on here um, but um, uh, you just gotta know which sides what uh, when you get ready to solder them up so um, if you'll look they've got them two little long slots that is where you slide your um, capacitor wires in alright so you pull that on down there like that and then what I do is kind of pull the wires out in order to hold this uh, little uh, board right close to the capacitor as possible so you just pull these out like that holds that nice and down and then uh, what I learned last time I made it is I went ahead and cut these wires off um, but don't cut the wires off first solder them in first and then cut the wires off it because the reason why is you can use one of these little clips to hold the wire in order to uh, get on there and solder it in um, so let's do that We'll zoom in just a little bit here. That's about all I can get out of this camera. Um, make sure she's focused. All right. So my nice hot soldering iron here. Uh, put me a little dab of fresh solder on it, and then I am going to solder in. Now, the thing is, is um, it doesn't matter if you get it on this pad because it's the same. So normally, and, and it will kind of uh, give you a little bit more um, um, current flow uh, through this wire tube to the, to the main of the uh, capacitor. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't even want to go in there this time. So I do like a big blob of solder here on this, um, just like that. Of course, you don't want to cross the negative or the positive, but right here, um, basically, um, you do kind of bypass the PDB um, or the, you know, the board. Um, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. It still provides you that nice solder point to solder your wires on. Um, so then. Um, now, you would think, hey, let's cut these off now, but let's not do this. Let's solder the wires on there first. Then once we get the wire solder on there, then we'll cut these extra um, off. Now, we can cut this one off because we've already got that one to hold, but that's okay. We'll wait. So I do like to keep my stuff color-coded uh, so there's no confusion. So I will use a black and a white, a red wire 
in order to make sure that when I hook these up to the battery, I know which side is what. Plus, I will be heat shrinking this just to give it a little bit more protection. Probably not, can't see this very good. I'm just pretending the black wire. Make sure that um, we still we know which side's which because it's going to make a difference when I hook the capacitor up which color the wire is. So uh, if I look on that this side on this side over here where my soldering iron it is where the negative is. So we're going to Oops. I kind of knew that was going to happen. Because I kind of wanted this as... <sighs> Live video here. you got to hold it long enough for it to cool off. Another thing you got to remember with these capacitors is uh, you can't get them too hot, which I've probably already done. There's my wire. Um, I want it to look a little bit better, but uh, I don't want to uh, <laughs> blow up my capacitor. I let it cool off just a little bit. And we'll get my red wire. Of course, we know the other one is positive because, well, we only got two wires. Makes it nice and easy for us. Now, uh, my understanding of these little bitty boards um, doesn't necessarily matter um, what um, size capacitor you use. Um, they're really just a pass-through. Um, now, I'm using a 1,000 microfiber 35 volt um, one right now just in case I decide to run 6S. Um, but um, uh, these can go on the smaller one, the 4S's. There's really no voltage. I mean, I guess it comes to a point where there's too much um, but for our standard quad 6S, um, you know, the, these will work. Um, they are pretty cheap. They come at power, uh, power flip or uh, uh, looks like they're $4.99 uh, right now. Uh, you get five of them. So that's not a dollar a piece, but I think it makes life a little bit easier. Um, so, um, and it gives you an overall neater appearance too. Uh, so, you know, and even if you were going to do this very, very close to your battery, which you probably should, the closer the better, um, this is still going to provide you an uh, overall neater um, presentation, plus it's going to uh, give you a little flexibility on the way your c capacitor is turned sideways or whatnot. Um, so that's really good also what I do is put a little bit of tape over this before I heat shrink it now you've got a nice know where the salt where you know you can't have anything that touches it or anything like that to create a short so let's go ahead and get this wire soldered on see if we can have a little bit more success with this wire Probably if I'd have had to do it all over again, um, I would have probably held it by both sides. It may have made it a little bit nicer. But so now that we've got our wire soldered on, um, we can go ahead and cut off our extra here. All right, and um, now what I'll do is I'll put a little black tape over this in order to um, uh, get some heat shrink on it and um, hopefully it looks a little bit nicer and easier to work with. I have uh, some little black tape here and cut me a little piece off of that. Just to keep anything from shorting off on that, that area. Um, Something like that right there. Uh, 
so and plus when you get this shrink rack on here you're not going to be able to read that so that's why you're, it's nice to have the right color coded wire to make sure that you are let's do it just a little bit more here just like that kind of wrap that around there and sort of like wrapping a Christmas present <laughs> all right so now that we have that we've got our little piece of sh heat shrink here I don't know exactly what size this is. It's some shrink grip that I heat shrink that I use for my ESCs, separate ESCs. So uh, it should. Uh, it's a little bit bigger. I'd like it a little bit smaller, but that's okay. All right. So uh, that's sort of right there, and then you can cut some extra off once you get it uh, heat shrink. Uh, heat shrink. Let me go. Let me go uh, shrinking this up a little bit, and I'll be right back. Alright, so we've got it heat shrinked up here. Of course, I'm going to cut this ed end off a little bit, but um, yeah, provide you. Um, my understanding, you don't really have to put the heat shrink on it. I just do it to provide it just a little bit more extra protection in a crash. Um, and then, of course, you know, uh, most of the time these wires are exposed, anyways. Um, just provides a little bit of extra protection during a crash. Um, I mean, it may be a few ounces. I know. A lot are worried about weight. Um, I am too, a little if we're at a, at a point. Um, but um, uh, I would rather have durability over a little bit, uh, a little bit, saving a few few ounces or grams in weight. So, but yeah, there we go. That's how I make up a capacitor to put on my quads, uh, and it just gives an overall neater appearance. So thanks for watching, and I hope this has been helpful, and um, have a good day.